morning and selamat merdeka today i would like to show you how i actually remove the backup storage because it actually consumes a lot of my this space as you can see it's already being flooded out and only 10 percent or more of this space is available even though i have a terabyte of hard disk over there so what you have to do is go to start button control panel and on your control panel click on the backup your computer this screen will show up and ask you to backup now you can actually manage your space over here as backup size is already being will will go bigger and bigger as you can see it actually takes up half of my disk space click manage space make sure that you are the administrator you can see that the data file backup is already 367 system image is 166 and other files is 249 well you view back backups and the previous two backups is actually quite big so I'll just remove them delete because sometimes you will have the purpose the backups are there is so that you can actually roll back to those previous times which we hardly do so I'll just delete these backups files right done another way is to change your settings because some of us have all the pictures our videos and all that in our documents what we call the my documents but for me all my important files are already being backed up in my photo library album so what I did is my C drive the this image as well as the mem the files will be stored in photos 2010 then I'll choose my own libraries to be back up instead of the default I'll on the libraries usually all the documents music pictures videos all these will be back up but what I want is only to back up my desktop downloads and some of the things that are always changing because my music pictures videos these files are already being backed up on other places and does not need any remote backups because I don't change those folders much just press next so as you can see the document libraries music libraries pictures libraries videos libraries all these libraries will not be backed up only the additional locations and the system images will be included so I'll just save the settings and that's it so I hope you like this episode of how to reduce your backup size on this digital asset management episode thank you and I hope to see you around